Hello and welcome to Excel Dashboard Templates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel Dashboard Templates.com and sign up for my user list so that you're sure to get the latest tips, tricks, and techniques to make your Excel Dashboard shine. All right, today uh, I'm going to show you how to make this chart here. I think I originally posted this was from the USA Today, but uh, sometimes I take pictures and forget exactly where they're from since it says responses to an online poll at WSJ.com. I'm assuming this is a Wall Street Journal chart that I'm actually going to show you how to do. Yesterday, uh, please look this up on my blog or on my YouTube channel. I showed you how to create these leader lines. So these are these uh, uh, lines that go to these labels uh, that are outside of the pie chart. And uh, today I'm going to show you how to make the rest of the chart. Now, here's the trick and why I wanted to show you this uh, to this chart is you can see we have labels on the inside of the pie chart and we also have labels on the outside of the pie chart so that's the big trick that I'm definitely going to show you. I'm going to show you how to recreate the entire pie chart uh, but those are the real issues. Now some people might create a text box on top of their chart put in the number or the percentage uh, and then have Excel do these outside labels. However I'm going to show you how to tie them both together so that uh, you'll always get the same chart every time without having to draw these text boxes and put those fields in there. All right, so let's get to it. Uh, here what I've done is I've set up my data in such a way that it's uh, very similar to what's on the chart. Now I've done one other thing here. You see in this other percentage, uh, this was actually in the label on the outside. Uh, and we'll delete the inside label just because it's a small slice. So I've added that 6% here as a part of the uh, label data. So let's go ahead and highlight our chart data range. We're going to go up to our insert menu. Then from our insert menu, we're going to click on the pie chart button. And then there is a 2D pie chart that we're going to want to click on right there. Let's go ahead and move that up. And uh, let me move this in front. Um, OK, so what we have is we have our basic pie chart created. Um, first thing we need to do is we're going to move these labels from being a part of the legend and make it a little easier so you see exactly which slice is which label instead of having to try and find the color and look over here. So I'm just going to click on that and hit my delete key. Alright, so now the next thing we want to do is uh, we want to put labels on this chart right here. So we're just going to click anywhere on the chart. You can see it's got all of the data points highlighted and then we're going to go up to our layout ribbon. And from our layout ribbon, there is this data labels button in the labels section. And we want to choose outside end. All right, so let's put our labels here on the outside. Now, I actually want the label um, categories, not the values. So I'm just going to right click on any label. And you'll see in my pop up menu, format data labels is a choice. You can also hit control one, and that'll fix that for you as well. Uh, and so we want to choose the category name and uncheck the value. Uh, and you can see we've got show leader lines is already checked. Our label position is outside. We can go ahead and click on close at this point in time. Uh, now you can see our labels have been created on the outside. Now like I showed yesterday, I'm going to go ahead and just create the leader lines on this. Check out my YouTube channel. You can see a more in-depth post on how to go about doing this. And just about there. So looks like we have it all. Now, uh, if we look at the chart, it was just slightly askew. So the 31% was not starting at 12 o'clock. It was more, say, 11.30, 11.45. Um, so how we do that is we right click anywhere in the chart. We do format data series. In this format data series, you'll see there is a section here that says rotation angle of first slice. I'm just going to type in my number that I think is going to be best to make it about 11 o'clock is 350 degrees and I'm going to click on close. All right, so you can see the pie chart is now slightly askew. Uh, and um, let's go ahead and go to the next step. So uh, what we want to do is we've got our outside label position. We've got everything set up for our pie chart. But what we're going to do is we're going to superimpose an additional pie chart right on top of this uh, to show um, our internal labels. So we do that by going over to our at first data series, highlight it again, starting with the um, information and the uh, values, 
I'm going to hit Control C, or you can also go up to your home ribbon and hit the copy button. You can see the dancing ants where it's got the selection highlighted. Now I'm going to choose my chart by clicking on it. I'm going to right click on this and do paste. You can also do Control V, that'll do the same thing. Now it doesn't look any different here, but we've actually put a second series right on top of the previous pie chart. Uh, and I can show you that here in a second. So um, the next thing we want to do is uh, let's go ahead and uh, right click on the pie chart and you'll see this there's a selection called select data click on select data and here's the trick on how we want to do this so series one is the one where we had the original leader lines with the labels on the outside series two is the new one we just pasted and you can't see any difference to it because it looks exactly the same we want to move this up so you see that's this button right here uh, and if I hover over it, it says move up. We click on that after clicking on series two. And series two is now moved up, or alternately, I guess we could move series one down. Let's go ahead and click on OK. Now let's take a look at our chart. Our leader lines and labels are all gone. Uh, so it's uh, uh, moved this series to the front. So what I want to do is click on that pie chart. Let's go up to our layout ribbon. Let's go to our labels button in the labels group. And we want to do center labels on this one. And there's our percentages. OK, so now we did want to get rid of the 6% because we're going to have that in the label. Uh, we're going to make these really large. They're going to uh, kind of fill up the space. And we're going to put this in the label anyway. So select your labels. Select it a second time on the 6% and hit your delete key. So we've gotten rid of that one. Uh, now, this is the trick on how we get our leader lines back from that second series. Uh, what we want to do is we want to right click on this, let's do format data series, and we are going to change our series options to secondary access. Now once we do that, look at that, it has uh, moved it in the back area. Uh, you can still see the percentages, you can still see the outside label leader lines. So that's a way you can get your percentages on the inside and your labels on the outside all on the same time. Now, uh, one other thing we have to remember is we did uh, change the primary series to actually be tilted to 350 degrees. So we need to right click on this, do format data series. We're going to change our rotation angle to 350. Click on close there uh, so that we make sure our other matches up there as well. Uh, now, to get this to look like the chart uh, that we had seen in the USA or the Wall Street Journal, uh, let's right click on this, do format series. We're going to change our fill options to a solid fill. And it was sort of this ruddy color. Let's choose that one. And we want to change our border color to a solid line. And we want to change that to a white style. And let's change our border style actually. Let's move this up to about uh, this width here, up to about two points to uh, make it really stand out. And click on close. Now you can kind of see this is really looking like what the original chart looked like. Uh, all we need to do is probably click on these labels here, go up to our home ribbon, and let's change the font color of these to white. Uh, and then let's change the size of these labels to something pretty large. Uh, it's probably too large. Let's go to about 14. So. so as you can see comparing this to the original Wall Street Journal chart, we've got 30%, 31, 22, 11. They're in white. We've got white borders. We have leader lines going out to these labels. We've got percentages on the inside as well. Uh, now if we went and changed any of these values, let's change this uh, second one, a weak economy to 77%. You'll notice our label shift, our outside label shift, everything is controlled without doing text boxes or anything else. Uh, so that you can see it uh, shifts everything accordingly because they are two identical pie charts overlaid on top of each other to get the inside and the outside lines. All right, uh, please visit my YouTube channel uh, here in Excel dashboard templates uh, so that you're sure to get the latest posts delivered directly to your inbox. Uh, also, you can check out some of my other videos, have lots of them posted out there to show you other tips and tricks. 
in creating Excel dashboard charts. Thank you.